This video will help you find your center. So this video is a request and uh, what it covers is how to center blanks on your lathe for metal spinning. What you see a lot on online is just uh, production spinners centering it very quickly. Sometimes the lathe is still running. They throw it in there, get it exactly centered and go. Uh, I don't recommend doing that. Uh, I'm not a production spinner. And I think most of the people watching these videos, you're probably thinking about one of a kind or not really doing high production spinning. So I'll show you some other ways that I believe are a lot safer. They might take a little longer, uh, but are really better ways to go. First off, I'd like to recommend a... Uh, any book that's on basic sort of hand layouts of geometry that'll show you uh, what a great versatile tool, just a simple ruler and uh, dividers or a compass can be as far as getting precise geometric layouts. So uh, these books are just really great, uh, valuable resources. Uh, the first tool I'd like to go over is from the wood turning world. And this is just a center finder. So uh, what it does is you just take your, your round object, in this case, your spinning blank, make sure it's against both walls of the tool, and then this line will indicate the diameter of the circle. And uh, by marking at least two diameters where they intersect, will show you the center of the circle. I tend to use a sharpened scribe, uh, but for the sake of the video, I'm gonna use a Sharpie just so you can see it a little bit better. So you just run the Sharpie along that diameter gauge, turn it. I'm not turning it exactly perpendicular, but just to give you an idea. And there you have quickly marked the center of the circle. Another way to go that if you don't have that tool and you want to do a uh, layout with a compass is you set your compass to more than the radius of the, the circle that you want to find the, the center of. And then you make two arcs and where those arcs intersect uh, will give you the uh, diameter of the circle. So I'll just look for the overlap of those arcs, line up my ruler. And again, I would do this with a scribe, but I'm doing the, uh, the Sharpie just so you can see it a little better. And then the uh, diameters don't have to be perpendicular. Just, I just tend to do it sort of approximately. And then again, finding those overlapping points of those arcs. And you can, you can draw more than two diameters if you wanna be extra sure that you're finding the center, but uh, two is the minimum that you need. And there you have another layout for the center. And then we'll go to the lathe and I'll show you some other ways that I center the blank uh, with or without marking. Okay, so I'm not uh, a production spinner, so I'm not so concerned about quickly getting it centered. And oftentimes with my spinnings, I am trimming it. So as long as I get it close, that's good enough for what I need to do. So having it marked like this, and then kind of just eyeballing it up with your follower block, um, you know, that's pretty close. And another way of checking that I like to do is I will put the, the tool, tool rest close and then see how out it is. And then I can just sort of adjust using those marks as well as how close or far away it's rotating to the tool rest and kind of just work back and forth a little bit. And then you can, you know, decide how precise you need to be with a piece. If you're doing a particular thing where you're not going to trim, you want to get it much better centered, but it all depends on what you need to do. Whoop, <laughs> I removed it the wrong way. So all depending, that can, that can get you close. And depending what you need to do, if that's good enough, then uh, certainly just tighten everything down and get spinning. Another thing that I should show you, I honestly don't do this very much in uh, my own spinning practice, but you might be interested in this and you certainly see it online. And it is a bit more dangerous, so be very careful. But you can use a, uh, a scrap stick of material, a follower block, something like that. Uh, this is just a piece of PVC plastic. And you can um, lock down your tool rest parallel to the axis of rotation. And you want to watch. And what you're going to do is you're going to put slight pressure on the blank to move it towards center while it's spinning. 
Uh, it can slip out and roll up the stick. So again, you want to have a face shield on and gloves and everything else. But you can see how it's out a little bit. Now what you need to do is you need to loosen the follower block just enough that you can shove the blank to center. And then tighten it down. And again, that's probably close enough for me since I'm going to be trimming it later as I'm spinning and everything else. Uh, but you can get it dead on centered that way. Again, it's a slightly more dangerous uh, process. I wouldn't recommend it for beginners, but if you don't want to do all those layouts or you're impatient or you're trying to increase your speed for production, uh, this is a more uh, time efficient way to go. So um, happy to uh, respond to requests for additional videos and I hope this is uh, useful for you. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can hear from me when I post future videos. Thanks for stopping by.